Good afternoon, ladies and gents, viewers and subscribers. This is your host, Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Education Channel, the only channel that addresses real immigrant issues. Coming to you from Adam Clayton, Powell, J.R. Boulevard, and the West 138th Street here in Central Harlem at the apartment complex that was assigned to migrants or asylum seekers by the mayor of New York, Mayor Eric Adams. So ladies and gentlemen, as I speak ladies and gents, there seems to be a lot of fireworks from the members of this community as a result of the mayor um, assigning this complex to migrants, or in other words, asylum seekers. That being said, ladies and gents, last Thursday, a meeting was held in this community and uh, the, some members of the community were also given access to the building and uh, from what they stated, they stated that there was a lot of repairs that seemed to have been going on to the build, inside the building that they had no knowledge of, ladies and gents. They also mentioned that they were not informed about the mayor's plan to give this apartment complex to migrants. That being said, ladies and gents, I acquired some new information as to the ownership of this building and ladies and gents what I've learned presently is that this apartment complex was valid at 50 million US dollars but was sold for 410,000 US dollars. That being said, ladies and gents, according to the former, good afternoon, ladies and gents, viewers and subscribers, this is your host, Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Edification Channel, the only channel that addresses real immigrant issues coming to you live from Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard and the West 130th Street here in West Central Harlem, that is. So ladies and gents, what I'm going to talk about today is the, late up, the latest development that has transpired as it relates to the building at 2201 Adam Clayton Powell Junior Boulevard and the West 130th Street here in Central Harlem. That being said, ladies and gents, last Thursday, members of the community was given access to the building at 2201 at 2201 Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard and West 130th Street and uh, based on what they said ladies and gents they stated that there were a lot of repairs that was taking place inside the facility that they had no 
knowledge of ladies and gents. They also stated that there were a lot of bunk beds and uh, other stuff that was being transported into that facility. Other stuff, for example, um, bunk beds and uh, tables. That being said, ladies and gents, according to the former owner of that facility, the luxury Harlem apartment complex that was assigned to the asylum seekers or migrants, the value of that facility, right, of this facility, sorry, it's actually 50 million US, but was sold for $410,000, ladies and gents. That being said, ladies and gents, according to the owner, the builder defaulted. When the, del when the builder defaulted, this building was almost 90% completed. So as a result, the owner fired the builder and in retaliation, what the builder did was put a tax lien on the facility here at 2201 Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard and the West 138th Street. So what transpired after that was that the construction loan went into the fall. The construction loan went into the fall. As a result, this apartment complex, ladies and gents, was actioned. But from what the owner is saying, the owner said he paid upward of $8 million on this apartment but was sold unknown to him in like an action sale. So now he's in the process of going to court in order to um, regain back access to this building. That being said, ladies and gents, According to one of the activists here in West Harlem, who is also, sorry, Central Harlem, Tiffany Fulton, she questioned the fact that Mayor Eric Adams was still able to obtain this facility when, in fact, there is a legal hole or in other words there is some type of litigation pending as it results to the ownership of this building that being said ladies and gents the owner also stated that he do not know or he had no knowledge when the other person acquired this building and uh, was planning with the government to use it as a homeless shelter. That being said, ladies and gents, members of this community are still outraged and uh, they stated that they're going to call another meeting with Mayor Eric Adams, and uh, until then, the protest for this facility is going to continue. That being said, ladies and gents, we've come to the end of this video. Please share, like, subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so that you can be informed whenever I upload another video. Last but not least, thank to all of my viewers and subscribers and thanks for your continued support. Good afternoon ladies and gents, viewers and subscribers. This is your host Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Edification Channel, the only channel that addresses real immigrant issues. Coming to you from Adam Clayton Powell JR Boulevard and the West 130th Street here in Central Harlem at the apartment complex that was assigned to migrants or asylum seekers by the mayor of New York, Mayor Eric Adams. So ladies and gentlemen, as I speak ladies and gents, there seems to be a lot of fireworks from the members of this community as a result of the mayor um, assigning this complex to migrants, or in other words, asylum seekers. That being said, ladies and gents, last Thursday, a meeting was held in this community, and uh, the, some members of the community were also given access to the building, and uh, from what they stated, they stated that there was a lot of repairs that seemed to have been going on to the build, inside the building that they had no knowledge of, ladies and gents. They also mentioned that they were not informed about the mayor's plan to give this apartment complex to migrants. That being said, ladies and gents, I acquired some new information as to the ownership of this building. And ladies and gents, what I've learned presently is that this apartment complex was valid at 50 million US dollars but was sold for 410,000 US dollars. That being said, ladies and gents, according to the former